is up guys, Thaddeus here, hope you guys are having a fantastic day. In today's video, we're actually been going over something that most of you guys, especially beginners, may not be super familiar with or may not even know at all um, in regards to Facebook ads, okay? So what I really, really wanna touch on, right, is the actual conversion window and how you can optimize for that and how Facebook actually optimizes for that because you, know, you need to understand that to be able to properly convert your clients and your ads into sales, into numbers, into revenue, all right? So that's what we're gonna be doing. I'm gonna screen share it as well, just to like show you guys where it all is. Um, first things first though, guys, as usual, as I'm trying to do for every YouTube video I upload, I also add one more video into the course. So for those of you that are in it, check your back office, it is in there. For those of you not in it, link is in the description if you're interested. Now, onto the video, guys. Um, let's just hop in the screen share real quick, just so I can start breaking it down right away. All right, guys, so I am tiny now. As you guys can see on the screen, you're looking at the Facebook uh, business manager, right? Um, we're now in the ads manager looking to basically create an ad, right? So once you get to this point, right, this is again, if you're optimizing for conversion, right? So this is if your objective, right, back here, okay, if your objective is conversions, I go down here, and one thing that you'll need to actually choose, right, is the conversion window, okay? So what a lot of people don't understand, right, is depending on the product you actually sell, um, that's actually gonna determine which one you select, right? So as you see, there's a few different ones, okay? So there's two kind of sections, like subcategories. After clicking ad, okay, is the first one. After clicking or viewing ad, okay? So there's two subcategories, and under each one, there's a one-day click or a seven-day click, all right? Or a one-day view, seven-day view type of thing, okay? What does that mean, essentially? So basically, depending on the product you're selling, guys, you have to understand the, basically, the consideration needed for a client or a customer, right, to purchase your product, okay? Usually, oftentimes, the easiest way to tell this, like to tell how much consideration is needed for a product is how expensive it is, okay? So for example, if you're selling, you know, a plasma TV, right, or a 4K TV or a curved TV, right, for example, right, um, that could, you know, that, that's pretty pricey, right? Those could be, you know, $3,000, 4000 $5,000, okay, for, for a very large one, right? So that, that, that's an expensive product. Usually, if someone sees an ad, right? So for example, if they're scrolling through Instagram, right? If your placement for this ad is on the Instagram feed, they're scrolling through, they see a $5,000 TV, most likely, they're not going to click it, purchase it within the next, you know, day, in the next 24 hours, or within the next 10 minutes, right? Right after seeing the ad or clicking through um, on the ad, okay? Because it's pricey, right? They have to actually consider it. They see it, they're like, okay, that's interesting. Um, they might purchase it, you know, later on the road. Like, it's kind of just in the back of their head now, right? That's a consideration, right? So it's, they're actually thinking of purchasing your product. They're not gonna buy it right away, usually because it's pricey, okay? There's a few other factors that can come into play, but the biggest and most important one is price, okay? So again, if you're selling really, really, really cheap stuff, Okay, for example, like bracelets, right? Bracelets, okay? If you're selling bracelets really cheap, okay, $10, $12, that's something that someone might be scrolling through the Instagram feed, they see it, oh, they really like it, they think it's really cool, they click it, they see that it's only $10, they check out, they buy right there, boom, done, done deal, right, okay? So that's basically, you know, that, that's when you optimize for like a one day click, okay? Or one day view, depending on the type of ad you're running, okay? Basically, how, like, like, why is that important, right? Why is that important to know? It ties into the Facebook learning phase, okay? Now this is for every objective, okay? Any ad you run on Facebook, there's a learning phase that's needed, okay? This is basically, it's a fairly new, um, you know, add-on to the Facebook, you know, ad side of things. And basically it's saying that you need 50 conversions, right? 50, whatever it is that you're conversioning for, like 50 leads, 50 purchases, 50 add to carts, whatever it is, okay, 50 page views. You need 50 of those within a span of a week to basically optimize it, for Facebook to know that, okay, it takes, it costs this much to get someone to add this product to your cart. It costs this much for someone, you know, to buy this and purchase it and check it out, like, like all that kind of stuff, right? So you need 50 conversions within a week. What does that actually mean? Like, how does this play into it? Basically, guys, if you want accurate data, you need to know what your your conversion window is for the products you're selling, okay? So again, if you have, you know, if you click, if you choose seven day click, but you're selling $10 bracelets, okay? Your learning phase, it'll it'll be quicker, right? Because again, it's, it's what Facebook is doing is for that seven days is any conversion that happens in that seven days after someone clicks the ad, Facebook is going to attribute that purchase to them seeing that first ad, okay? Now, why does that affect your learning phase? Okay, some, for some of you beginners, right, this might be like going over your head, but like it affects your learning phase because it's adding that conversion, right? You need 50, okay? So again, if you're, if you're not knowing, like if you don't know your conversion window, you're unknowingly adding these conversions that actually aren't, you know, attributed directly to your ad, okay? 
So you want to actually know your window. So for most cheap products, guys, okay? So again, anything I'd say under $100, okay? Or maybe under 80, okay? That could easily, easily be a one-day click, okay? Which means they're just scrolling through it. They see it. Oh, okay. I like it. It's not that expensive. I'm going to buy it right now, okay? That's a one-day click where they actually buy it within 24 hours of seeing the ad or viewing the ad, okay? That's what you actually want. Not a seven day click where you're running the ad and someone five days later just remembers it off the top of the head they buy it. That's not an ad that you want to be attributed to your ad set that Facebook is tracking because then Facebook's gonna just try and find people like that. And you don't want that. You wanna find people that'll buy it right away. That's how you scale, that's how you get good data, guys. So again, this is again a super, super quick video, but it's something that a lot of you guys don't really understand or what I've noticed because it's just a lot of questions I get in the DMs, which is how do I do Facebook? I bring it up and they're like, what is a conversion window? Or like, what is it? Like they have no idea what I'm talking about. So that's why I wanted to create this little video for you guys to actually break it down and show you guys what it actually is. So again, it's just a one day click or view. And how, again, does this tie in? Right? It might not seem that important or that, you know, instrumental in anything but again that's just attributing it so it knows what to attribute to your ads and it helps your learning phase because your learning phase is vital in in the whole scheme of things right just so that Facebook knows okay this is the person I'm looking for this is the like the demographic that I'm looking for and you want it to be the right conversion window okay guys so again this is a super super short video but that's just something that I wanted to break down for you guys um, not many people are familiar with it and not, not many people are familiar with even just the learning phase and how that kind of works. Um, but that is that, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure to leave a like. Do, do comment, guys. I respond to everybody's comments. And don't forget to subscribe. We're doing basically a video a day or a video every other day. Uh, I haven't decided that yet. But that's the video, guys. I hope you guys enjoy. Again, for you guys in the course, new videos have been added. And if you haven't... Um, you know, if you're interested, link in the description as well as link for literally everything else. Hope you guys enjoy. I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care and peace.